But then y'all, I found this. Y'all know what this is. Hey y'all and welcome to Hot Chocolate Chat. Today I'm drinking a hot chocolate from Starbucks. It's already 82 degrees, but I still like my hot chocolate. I'm going through things. Okay, I'm, I see, I said it again, that's dumb. I'm going through some things that I found in a box in the storage unit and I wanna know what to do with it. Because I think to myself like, okay, you know, after I pass away, what are my kids gonna wanna like deal with? Probably nothing. And they're still gonna have to deal with a ton of pictures. But you know that it is what it is. You're gonna have to deal with the pictures. Sorry, not sorry. But there are other things that I'm finding such as like report cards, blue ribbons from play day back when they were in like second grade and they're keepsakes and they're kind of like i look back at them and i'm like oh remember oh but it's not like i display them or anything but do you keep that stuff do you i have a lot of kids between us we have seven kids so if i kept all the little oh then that's a lot of stuff but then y'all i found this Y'all know what this is. All right, here we go. These are CDs that I burned. And some are just randomly titled. Like, this is Lisa's movies. What's on that? Theme songs? I don't know. Um, this one says Various. This one says Girlies. Exercise. I'm prepared to get in shape because I even have workout jams. And I've got Retro down here. <laughs> I have Girls Rock. I've got College Fight Songs, Now 25. I've got Freddie Fender. I even have a Special K, like, Walk Fit CD. Like, mmm. I'm not gonna lie. Part of me wants to go buy, like, a really cheap CD player and just, like, see what's on them. You know? Like, what did I consider, like, burn worthy in the days of Kazaa and all that kind of stuff? Like, what's on my various ones? That's what I wanted to talk about today. So let me know, should I keep those CDs? Should I listen one more time? Or should I just toss them in the trash? If you want to follow me on Instagram and YouTube, it's Our Gray House. But just don't follow me in real life, though. Because that's creepy.